Welcome, YouTube, to a new episode of Borderlands 2. So I gotta get to the catch ride, which isn't that hard. Knob and weave. Shoot him in the face. Hey, how about that? Oh, that's right, I probably have like eight badass ranks right now. Take a peek. Uh, six? Okay. Oh! Oh, I didn't know badass ranks were shared across characters. Damn. That's actually kind of interesting, because... I always thought that that, that was kind of lame. The way that worked. The way you, um... You know would end the game and you'd have like 3% more damage and whatever, like, I always thought that was kind of lame. But actually, I guess, if it's shared across characters, you know, by the time you've played through the game on one, uh, you know what I mean, on each, each character, you'd actually have a lot of stuff. I really did not expect these guys to follow me all the way here. Kind of annoying. Oh god, that guy's even higher level. Okay, so, I'm looking back at the preview, I don't think you guys can see that, but when I was in Gunzerker mode, there was this weird flashing border around the edge of the screen. And it stopped as soon as I came out of it, that's weird. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Let me get right in the middle of him if I'm gonna die, never mind, I'm stuck. Kill me, yeah. Right next to the incendiary barrel, fool. No, I'm gonna die anyway, damn it. Wait, I have a grenade. Oh, I forgot about the nomads and all that. I, I really like the enemies in this game. Like, that's one thing about the pre-sequel that I didn't, you know, you don't really realize when you're playing it, especially if it's been a while since you played the other ones, but I don't really care for the enemies in it. I know there's a lot of the same, but you know, without the Goliaths, I talked about the Goliaths a lot when I was doing the pre-sequel, but yeah, the Goliaths, the Nomads... Oh damn, he almost killed me with the book! Oh, I'm dead. I think I'm actually dead. Maybe not. That's all the enemies. Well, that's the downside to that um, that grenade, is that sometimes that can happen. Damn. Where am I spawning? Oh, all the way back down. I gotta run around again. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm not all the way back down. I thought I was next to the ship, and I'm up here. Perfect. Hyperion says, afterlife, <gasps> schmafterlife. <sighs> Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride, and I'll get you a free car. Free car, you say? Well, I mean, it wasn't free. I literally died, but yeah, sure. Executing phase shift. Rescinding lockdown. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher ride. You know, one thing I'm kind of glad they didn't do in these games is a penalty for dying, I'll like XP wise. Because it would have made sense. Cool. Try requesting another car. Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed. Ha! Thanks for using Scooter Catcher Ride, boo! We'll charm her that one. Great. Now head to sanctuary and you know, if they wanted to add a penalty for dying in this game, I would totally understand, because it's like, 
Stop talking to me. <laughs> because, you know, like when you hit the new U station, it, what, it's supposed to like copy you, right? So that if you die, it can respawn you? So it would make sense if it copied the version of you with less XP, and then that's the one you became. It would make, you know, it would make sense lore-wise, theoretically, right? That's what the saves are, just like, it just scans you or whatever, right? So it would make sense. It would be annoying, but it would make sense. We're only gonna kill every last one of you! You're never getting into Sanctuary, you bloodshot scaglets! Hold up, you're a vault hunter! Just see, we wanted to talk to you. Let me echo it. Oh, what the hell were all those explosions? So what I've been hearing all this radio chatter about. Name's Roland. I used to be a vault hunter like you, until I formed the Crimson Raiders. We'll catch up when I get back to Sanctuary. For now, I need your help. My men tell me Corporal Reese hasn't returned the power core that we need to keep the city's shields running. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary, and you'll have earned your place in the Raiders. Oh, I remember this. The guy's dead, no right? Contacted you? Good. And then the power core Listen is a bait. To what he says. He can help us Sorry, spoilers, time. but it's Borderlands 2. <laughs> Handsome Jack here, reminding you all not to worry your pretty little heads about those earthquakes. See, with every tremor, my drill gets closer to the vault, to freedom, order, and safety for us. Oh, I forgot this thing shoots fire bullets. I forgot I got that. I thought I was just using some shitty one that doesn't do anything. Burns through ammo, though. Owned. Oh, that's right. I didn't even have to go through there, did I? I'm pretty sure I can drive around. I thought this was something else. I thought I was doing a different quest. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right about it being a bait. I thought this was bringing me to a, di a different place, though. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten off my car. Oh wait, maybe this is the place. Yeah, oh, up here is where I should have gotten off. Stop running. Nice. Ow. What the fuck? This is not great. I guess it regenerates ammo, so there's that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that weird flickering, like, it's literally, like, one pixel wide, but it's around, like, the top, the left, and the bottom of the screen. That's really weird. I did change the resolution since I've launched, and I didn't relaunch the game, but, like, normally you shouldn't have to, so I don't know what the deal is. Oh, Iridium. My first one. Yeah, so I think I'm going to get this one to rank 5, and then I'll probably... I don't know. Like, this is a, this is another good one right here. Like, this whole tree is pretty decent. I mean, not the whole tree, but most of this tree is pretty decent. And then the, the final perk is pretty good. Then that other tree that's all the way to the left, I don't remember what it was called. That one looks pretty good, too. I don't know. The thing is... In this one playthrough? Well, maybe with DLC, because I really like the DLC in this game. So, I, I don't know. I don't know how much, how many levels I'll get. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Shit. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm good. Hey, get out of my face. I didn't expect a badass to be over here. Take that. What's going on, man? Here, I got a stim pack. Ow! One of those psychos ran off with the power core. Without it, Sanctuary will be defenseless. Get that core back to Sanctuary. I'm just gonna take it now. Wake me up when I'm not on Pandora anymore. Damn. Reese is dead? He was one of the first Crimson Lancemen I recruited to the Raiders. Get that power core back, and while you're at it, kill I think that was pretty good. It's what he would have wanted. Well, the, the explosive damage so, weapons yeah, always look pretty good, one. but then when I try them out, they suck. The device can't find the precise location of what you're looking for. Search the area marked by the big ass green circle on your mini map. Your objective is somewhere in that area. You know what's funny is chronologically, the pre-sequel comes before this game, and yet has worse explanations for some of this stuff, like area waypoints and all that. That's just kind of funny to me. Hey, get out of here. The shotgun kind of sucks for this, but I don't want to like switch. Oh, I'm going to die. I didn't realize I was out of it. Lol. <laughs> Thought I was just reloading both. Whatever. God, I really don't like the zoom on this. It's a pretty decent gun otherwise. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. This The fire damage is obviously good. But all these other pistols have way higher, like, base damage per shot, so I don't know. What the fuck is that? What kind of accuracy was that? What the hell, man? Let me try this one in place of the shotgun for Gunzerker. <laughs> You do regen ammo pretty quick, so I guess that kind of confirms my idea of maybe you can um, use it like when you're in a cave or whatever, and you need ammo just to just to generate ammo. Because you do, I do get a pretty That's good amount back. Great. Jack won't destroy sanctuary today, at least. I get back to the city. We'll meet up once I get there. Welcome to the Crimson Raid. Damn it. I'm being attacked. What? I'll see no you. Oh. The sweet songs of sausage dumps will fill my day. Be glad. Come on, man. It still runs. Ouch. Borderlands is always a little bit harder on your second playthrough because you're always used to having different abilities. Dying light's the same way. You go from like, you go from having the grappling hook and being able to sprint forever to making a new character and being able to sprint like four inches, not having the grappling hook, not being able to drop, you know, not being able to like use the stomp ability. So I come, you know, I come from the pre-sequel that I finished like a week ago, having a redonkulously overpowered, you know, god mode shield that I can just throw up anytime I want because it had like a four second cooldown to just having to tank everything. Oh, I still need to kill two more. Thought I was done. Move your shield, noob! Yeah, get burned. Get corroded. 
I don't care. Honestly, grenade mods are just... Ugh. Lost a good Don't man today. Look at my shot I'm sure Reese would have been happy to know how quickly you wiped out those bloodshots. Wait, I want to look at this shield. 95, 20. Yeah, that's. God, I keep finding shields that are a lot better recharge rate and delay, but worse capacity. It's like, come on. When, when am I going to get one that's objectively better? Where, I wonder if there's a catcher ride around here. Oh, that's right, I forgot this character just grunts constantly when you're sprinting. I hate it. Oh, there's no reason for it. Damn, okay, so I'm stuck on foot. I think there might have been a catcher ride, like, way over there. This is kind of my fault. Because I thought, when I saw, like, I don't know, there's, like, those weird bone teeth or whatever that are sticking out of the ground. I thought that was where I was supposed to go, but it was actually the, those other ones further away. This is a message to Sanctuary. The last stronghold of the Resistance. Pandora, as you knew it, the chaos... The shadow is very large. If you let it, this could be an era of order, of peace... Just turn yourselves in, and I promise, your deaths will be quick. Hey, you like my speech? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long time torturing you bandit scum to death, and I'll enjoy it even more because... Yeah, yeah, I, I shouldn't say more. I got a little secret that I... You know what? You don't need to hear it. It'll probably just... Get okay. Yeah. I was hoping I could just go through. Fine. Don't let me. Roland, is that you? Oh, it's the Vault Hunter. Get in quick! Roland's echo communicator went dead. We need your help. I don't want to get in the gunner seat. Oh, weird. This door opens. I thought... I don't know why I thought it just, like, became the, the travel point. <laughs> Made it to Banditville, huh? Well done! It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm... Burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret. You're the one Commander Roland was talking about. Yep. The one who faced Jack and lived. Yep. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power core into the shield generator. Is that a better shotgun? I think it might be. I'm going to take it. Good. That ought to last us a day or a day? Wait, is he saying a day or two? What the fuck? Roland was supposed to bring us some intel on how to stop Jack. With him missing, we really need your help. Talk to Private Jessup at the gate. He'll let you enter the city. Jessup, stand up straight. Isn't this a bait? No. No. It's not. Okay, well. Blitz, look alive, everybody. I okay. I remember which one's the bait. Moonshot Blitz. Without that fresh core you brought, those lunar mortars would have pushed right through the shield. Half of these would have missed us totally. Like, Commander Roland never came back from his secret like that that mission. one, I'm pretty sure it would have kept going and like which you can maybe hit out. that. Go I feel like it would have missed totally head. though. Crap. I mean, uh, darn. Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. <laughs> Damn, don't even stand a chance. Okay, well, I'm going to go around and get all these side quests, and then I'm going to end that this episode here. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. Oh, hello, Hammerlock. I did your quests in Bulls the pre-sequel, even though you didn't give me anything. Bullymong. Rubbish name, isn't it? 
But I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some bully mong bone pies, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. 119 bucks. Okay, what is this quest again? Um, and would like you to whatever he asked you to head to three. Wait, how do I scroll down? Uh. It's not scrolling. Okay, fine. I'll use my mouse. Examine the bully mongs. Uh, so okay, so that's not a unique one. I know that that out of the one you had to finish the bully mongs with melee. Hello, but you're not open yet. Okay. Could I have a refund, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. Looks like it works to me. These cutscenes don't really look as good as you'd expect. I don't think they got a I don't think they got a pass over. Get over here. I got work. Oh, I can shop hey. with him as well. Okay. Hey, Vault Hunter. Oh wait, doesn't he like If you're going to be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better yeah. know how to use your yeah. mental weapons. I'll do this one because it's just right here. I've just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? Yes. I'll see you in the firing range. Let's try out the fire weapon first, huh? Fire weapons are extremely effective against flesh, but they're crap at destroying shield. Now, burn that imperialist bastard like a skag steak! This Hyperion fascist thinks he's. So do I have to put on a shock weapon? Yeah, I do. I think this one might actually change if I keep Take it on. That, Jack lover. Yeah, a few good hits from a shock. Mm, now yeah. what? Armored targets like these damned Hyperion robots can take a lot of them. Now let's try out these new slag weapons. Slag is a bit more complex. This now that he's slagged, he should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. Great! The weapons <laughs> work, and you're ready to take on hand. If you want to purchase any elemental weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood art dealer. Okay. You have one explosive weapon. Okay, well that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.